In a few weeks, we'll be releasing a podcast with Jim Coleman. He's a professional actor and lead in St. Luke's production of Tolton from Slave to Priest, which will be premiering in Houston later this week. But we thought, what's the point in releasing this interview after the Houston run without encouraging people to go actually see the show? So this is us saying, go and see it. It's an amazing story about heroism and faith, and we could all use a little bit more of both in our lives. But if my words aren't enough, here's the director of the play, Leonardo de Philippus, to tell you why you should check it out. I would venture to say that he not only is one of the more important people, obviously, in the Black Catholic community, but he's one of the most important people in uh, the church. And I would venture to say he's one of the most important Black figures in the entire history of the United States. And he's not known, and but he's that, but he, he is going to be known more because like a lot of other black figures, they were important, but this one is on his way to sainthood. And that sainthood is so powerful. I think on the other hand too, he's a priest. It brings out the whole aspect of the importance of the priesthood. So this is an incredible story of the priesthood for especially those young men out there who, who are thinking of priesthood or seminarians who are having difficulties staying who, staying in the seminary because they don't think they're smart enough to do it. And also for priests and bishops to renew their vows uh, that they can do it. You have four chances to catch Tolton from Slave to Priest in Houston. At St. Mary of the Purification on September 8th. At St. Justin Martyr on September 9th at St. Ignatius of Loyola on September 10th, and at St. Joseph Catholic Church on September 13th. So tell your friends, your family, your coworkers, this is something you don't want to miss. And make sure to follow us, Max Studios, on Instagram and YouTube to check out our full-length interview with Jim Coleman when it comes out. <laughs>